A poor father's love for his little daughter knew no bounds when he decided to dig up and sell his lawn to buy her a birthday cake. As he dug out the carpet of grass, he found a jar stashed with money buried in the soil. But the surprise didn't end there. Johnny was a struggling single dad living with his seven-year-old daughter, Penelope. Life had always been a rough tide for the 36-year-old carpenter, and things only worsened after he lost his wife during childbirth. The widowed dad chose not to find love again and dedicated his life to raising his beloved daughter. Penelope became his sole reason to live and let go of his sorrow, but that didn't make things any better. Money had always been tight in their humble house, nestled in a peaceful neighborhood, so Johnny was required to work more than his abilities to put food on the table. Daddy, will I get my Disney princess cake for my birthday tomorrow? Penelope looked up at Johnny, her big brown eyes twinkling as she munched on the apple pie. Johnny painfully nodded, and she took it for a yes. But when Johnny counted the money in his pocket and gathered the coins he had put aside in his toolbox, it was barely enough to afford Penelope's birthday cake. How am I going to say no to Penny? Johnny disappointedly sighed as he put his girl to sleep and left her room. Johnny spent the night rummaging through every nook and cranny of his house for money he could have stashed away for future use. He found nothing much, although he succeeded in finding a few dollar bills. But this isn't enough. I barely have $1.50 in hand. The cake costs $1.200. Jesus, where will I go for so much money? Johnny sadly thought. He spent a sleepless night wondering how to make his daughter's birthday special. Since Johnny was a temporary laborer, he found work only if he was called to fix repairs around town. Johnny's job was at stake, with people opting for sophisticated interior designers and top-notch maintenance specialists. But he still managed and offered affordable repairs that some customers looked up to. And Mrs. Pattinson, an elderly neighbor who lived several blocks away, was one of them. A loud ring of the cell phone startled Johnny awake the next morning. Oh, thank you so much for agreeing to help, Johnny. You saved the day. I couldn't find a roofer at the last minute. I'll be waiting for you, said Mrs. Pattinson as she hung up. A radiant grin lit Johnny's face as he put on his workwear and left for work after leaving his little daughter at her school. With a confident smile, he gathered his toolbox and marched toward Mrs. Pattinson's mansion. Oh, I'm so glad you came, Johnny. There, that corner on that roof needs a quick fix. It leaks, she said, pointing to the spot that needed fixing. I'll be grateful if you could fix it quickly because it's my grandson's birthday in two days. Don't you worry, Mrs. Pattinson. Consider the job already done. Johnny smiled and got started with his work. He finished his task and was about to leave with his wage when Mrs. Pattinson looked worried about something. Concerned, Johnny stopped in his tracks and turned around. Andrew's mother is throwing a party on his birthday, Johnny. Mrs. Pattinson explained when Johnny asked her what her worry was. Look at those dirty patches on the lawn. The mowers ruin the look. The party is in the garden. Andrew will be upset with the messy lawn. God, what will I do now? How will I fix this thing? Johnny's gaze shifted to the lawn as he pondered and realized he could help Mrs. Pattinson. I can help. My lawn has fresh green grass. I can use some to cover it up for you. Mrs. Pattinson glowed with excitement. Oh, Johnny, how am I going to repay you? Thanks. Here, take this, she exclaimed and offered Johnny $100. But he refused. I'll take it only if you're satisfied with my work, Mrs. Pattinson. I'll be right back with the grass, he said and left. On that scorching afternoon, Johnny began digging the lawn outside his little house, carefully excavating fresh green grass carpets. He was tired and hungry, but that did not stop him. His daughter's smiling face flashed before his eyes and he pictured her blowing her birthday candle and cutting her dream Disney princess cake. So Johnny kept digging without quitting until the shovel struck something that sounded like glass. He was stunned and put aside the tool to see what was in the soil. Oh my god, what? Money! Johnny exclaimed as he rolled the carpet of grass and found a glimmering glass jar stashed with money buried in the soil. He opened it, and to his shock, a bundle of dollars sealed in a little plastic bag plopped out. Oh my! Johnny gasped. He counted the money and could not believe his eyes. One thousand dollars! He exclaimed again as his shocked eyes drifted back to the lawn. Johnny rolled up his jean sleeves and carefully dug the entire lawn, only to find a total of 35 similar jars, each stashed with bundles of $100 bills. Johnny dug around the yard again, but there were no more jars. Stunned by the incredible jackpot that had been buried away in his very own lawn, Johnny gathered all the money on his bed and began counting. 
Oh my god, so much money! I can buy hundreds of Disney princess cakes for my penny! Thank you, Jesus, thank you! He cried out in joy. But just as Johnny straightened a crumpled hundred-dollar bill, something caught his eye. What is this? A message! Johnny gasped as he read the words. Dear Johnny, if you're reading this, I'm no longer with you. Be kind to others with this money. Proud of you, Dad. Tears rose in Johnny's eyes when he realized the unsuspecting jackpot was from his late father, Nathan, who passed away several years ago when Johnny was a teen. With a heavy heart filled with emotions, Johnny delivered the section of grass to Mrs. Pattinson and even refused to accept money for it. My dad once said, kindness begets kindness. And I guess he was right, Johnny told Mrs. Pattinson. I hope your grandson has a lovely birthday. He fixed his neighbor's lawn for free and heartily marched to his daughter's school to surprise her. Johnny and Penelope spent the evening shopping for her dream birthday dress. They had ice cream, had a hearty dinner at an elite restaurant, and were very happy that evening. But nothing surpassed Johnny's joy when he told the baker, I want the best Disney princess cake for my penny. Don't worry about the cost. I'm ready to pay any price for my girl's happiness.